how do you approach that? I know we're kind of talking about people now yeah. Um, instead of the dog, but how do you approach that with people that are, they're just rigid and um, very reluctant to move? I don't know if it's a sense of embarrassment or physical ability or, or what it is, but time and time again, um, you know, I'm, I'm constantly coaching people of like, be exciting, be fun. Like, stop being boring as fuck yeah if the in that setting where i'm like meredith gray like in the ring choose me love me right pick me that's different than the getting them like funky chicken with a dog and get the dog having a good time but what i found though even though you're you're bringing you're pouring on the stimulation with sound you know, with movement, with exaggerated body postures, you're still creating a modal action pattern. So as long as you're consistent with like a dog performing the sequence and moving the same way, very quickly you can fade the birthday clown and the dog will start committing to those movements as long as you're consistent. So if you move to free form with the owners where it's like just move and groove and do your thing, then they might get a little bit lost in the sauce and not know how to move because again, their experience is identical to the dog. Their brain is trying to interpret the communication and commit to modal action patterns and they're creating their coordination along with the dog. So if you shape exercises that are routine and you go, we're gonna do you know, a chase me and then I want you around the tree turning, around the tree turning, only turn right, check. You did great, now we're gonna go red light, green light game in a heel position, go, stop. So when I say green light, you're gonna go. When I say red light, you're gonna stop. And I would actually play that game with them so the owner stops when I say red light like we did when we were children. And that gives them that snap, right? That quick go and that quick snap. Once they get good at that, turning, starting and stopping, that's kind of the nice mechanics for, I think I get this and the dog is moving with me. And then later you can get super loose and free form because they realize that they can get the dog to move. but for for them to go oh shit i can do this you kind of have to cookie cut these movements out so that they go oh my god i can do it you know so when i go to do it it's just to show them that their dog can do it and get them impressed and then i'll kind of work it so the dog commits to those patterns and can do it very quickly so when i hand the dog to them the dog's like i know these games we just played it and it's super easy for them that that tends to help yeah but great question great question